So what's the next step then? Before we actually make this round pillow, or any pillow, and in fact we're going to want similar when we make the Roman round oblong pillow. So, self cover buttons, because we want to be able to cover the material that we're using on the pillow rather than use, well you could I suppose use a plastic button or whatever you can get hold of, but I just think it's so much nicer if the centre of the pillow is fabric and it can be the same as the fabric you're using for the entire pillow or it could be a contrasting fabric as in white or cream or navy blue something contrasting you could use depending on what fabric you use in the background uh, these ones I think they're 15 millimeter too small uh, for what I want the size of the pillow that I'm using I'm going to go with these which are 22 millimeters which I think in English is three quarters of an inch is it let's have a little look yeah three quarters of an inch So using, this is doubled over, so I'm going to get two anyway, uh, a piece of fabric for this uh, button. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with what I got, about two inches. So I'm roughly going to cut <clears throat> a two inch square and that. And I said it was double diver. So now I've got two of them. Take the button. You could fussy cut it. So like on my fabric, you could have that little uh, heart right in the centre. It's not going to work for me, I don't think. Anyway, put the button down. Put your button in the middle. Uh just literally take the corners off then put your square of material under your machine or you could do this by hand I suppose but I put it under my machine pick the longest stitch length that you can find mine is five uh, separate out your thread so you before you start bring your bottom bobbin thread up so you've got tails yeah then sort your threads out from start to finish so you know what you're pulling and why Put your button in the middle and then start to gather probably better without the button to start with hold on to that lot so they don't move probably better hmm. if you just take the top thread and start to gather on both sides okay pop your button into the middle and again you know if if you are fussy cutting to get a pattern on the front then you need to align that and then continue 
both sides to gather I hope I'm working with both top threads. Huh. It should be the longest one, so yeah. Keep your finger in the middle. So one against away against the other. Continue to gather that thread. When you get to, I mean, you don't have to be. It doesn't have to be spot on perfect. So when you feel like, oh, you've gathered it enough, and that'll do. I can cope with that. Take well, take take your scissors and cut them off. I haven't got any scissors with me, so I'm just gonna cut them off with my things. I can just push the residue in now yeah push any threads any residue in and i'm just running my finger around the edge of the button before i make it firm i i want a rounded button so i'm just forming it oh my video's done right i'm just forming it now around the button yep and when i'm happy that that's fairly smooth okay then we take this nasty little wheel thing um it is when you feel it you can feel there's more teeth one side sticking up and that's the bottom plonk that over the top and then really, really, really push it down. Right at the base. Oh, right at the base. And there you have mm. As best you can. Of course, you've still got your hole. Let me say. So there you end up with your covered button. Now that's hemline. I've used this. So this one is uh, the plastic uh, hemline ones. You can buy at any uh, fabric shop. So we did that one. And then I found these out. I thought I had some different ones. Now, uh, I, I'm going to try these now. Uh, these are slightly different in as much as, well, A, they're metal, but B, they've got these little spikes, little claws that actually hold the material. So when you put your material around or in the centre of your material, you can put the material around and kind of hook it onto these little spikes see what i'm saying right then you take it back put it over the stalk in the center and then with all your might yeah oh i would put it on something firm and with all your might, press down. Oh, I'll tell you what. Always keep a hammer. <laughs> because that just is not. Wish. 
sure which way I want to do this. I think I want to do it that way. Yeah. It's a bit like sealing a paint tin, isn't it? Now it's on and it's not moving, I can give it more of a wallop. Just on the outside edge. That's on. That's not going to come off. So we've got two types of button. We've got these metal ones, which I dare say I got off of uh, Amazon. As you can see, I pay very little for a load. And then this is the hemline one, which is a plastic centre. So that's how you do covered buttons. <laughs> 